Hi, this is Mark Gordon with GoldenTicker.com with the market report for June 28, 2011. And we're getting a little bounce here. This is the NASDAQ 100, the QQQ. And uh, it's up to almost 3% this week, uh, reclaiming its 40 week moving average. And uh, that's a good sign. So we're getting a little rally here. Uh, this will be our second uh, up week in a row if we close higher. We are still below the 10-week um, uh, moving average, which is now crossed under this green dotted line, which is the 20-week moving average. So um, the 10-week is rolling over, uh, which is not a great sign. So um, I would say that if uh, we can rally <coughs> up and get above these uh, moving averages here and close above it in the next week or two, uh, that will be a very a positive sign for the market. And looking at a daily chart of the QQQ, we can see uh, today's rally, we're up about 1.26%, uh, clearing this 21-day moving average, this red line, which is a good sign. Um, I would look for resistance to come in here at the 50-day and the 100-day moving averages. And we also have a descending tops uh, uh, trend line here, too, which will meet up with that. So a lot of resistance coming in at around the $57 range. And we are seeing some good action in some of the leading stocks. Here's Acme Packet uh, following through on last week's uh, uh, nice heavy volume bounce up off of its 40-week moving average. And this week, uh, we're so far, uh, we're up 7.7% uh, um, coming into overhead resistance here at these key moving averages. But Acme Packet looking strong. Here's Aruba Networks up over 9% uh, so far uh, closing right on its 10-week moving average. So that one's strong too. Had a nice heavy volume move. Uh, reclaiming its 40 week uh, last week. And here's a look at Chipotle Mexican Grill, up 4% so far this week, moving into new high ground. And here's a look at F5 Networks, uh, one of the great leaders of this bull market, and uh, topped out here at the beginning of the year and has been in a downtrend ever since, but uh, we're up better than 4% so far this week, and it reclaimed these key moving averages down here, so that's a good sign. And you can also see a nice uh, shape uh, of a cup coming in here, so uh, F5 looking more promising. And here's Watchmaker Fossil, up uh, better than 3.5% uh, this week so far, moving into new high ground as well. Nice uptrend going. And here's Green Mountain Coffee, new high ground, up uh, better than 5.5% so far this week, and a great uptrend uh, still going on. And here's HealthSpring, uh, up 4.37% uh, so far this week. And if it closed in here, this would be a new closing high for the stock. Uh, nice uptrend, uh, still intact. Had a little bit of a, a pullback here below the 10-week moving average uh, at the start of June, but has recovered nicely. And here's Netflix still chugging along, up uh, uh, better than 3%, uh, staying uh, firmly above its 10-week moving average here. Uptrend still intact. And here is VMware uh, getting a nice bounce off its 10-week moving average, up uh, better than 4% uh, uh, this week so far. And here is the unstoppable Lulu uh, Lemon going into new high ground once again, up 8.3% uh, this week so far. So still really a super strong stock. So just, uh, despite this current market correction, we do have some leaders that have not uh, uh, collapsed and uh, are, are actually moving into new high ground and looking strong. So this is a good sign. Uh, when we get a follow through day uh, in the markets uh, to confirm the new uptrend, um, we'll be looking at stocks that are setting up in proper bases and uh, look to get aboard those. So until then, we're just waiting on the sidelines and um, we're, uh, we're just biding our time.